All right, guys, so you know that I'm continuously trying to bring you the most useful information that I possibly can whenever it comes to making money with smartphones and computers. We just took a look at the application FREP and how you can use it to automate different applications on your phone. Now we're going to take a look at how you can automate your phones without having to use any application, but it will require that you have remote access to your devices from your computer. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can go about setting this up as far as automation goes through using a remote desktop scenario. And we're just going to go over to the screen of my computer, get as in-depth as we possibly can with this, uh, with this scenario because I know that for some people they're going to find this to be somewhat difficult. But really, if you, if you pay very, very close attention to this video, you're going to see just how simple it is, how it could take you maybe a couple of days to set this up. You could spend roughly a few hours each day over the course of a week and have all of your phones 100% ready to be fully automated within just very little time. So I encourage you guys to really study this video for what it offers and how you can use this to your advantage to make this so much more of a stress-free experience for making money with smartphones and computers. And guys, I'll see you at my computer. Have you been looking for easy ways to make money online? Welcome to eCash Society. Bitcoin talk, mining rig tutorials, and paying smartphone applications all in one location. All right, so I want to keep this as simple as I possibly can for you guys. We took a look at FREP and how you can use an application to automate your devices. And now I'm going to show you what is overall the most simple way that you possibly could automate your devices through your Windows desktop. You can install what is called TeamViewer. So if you see here on my screen, I have TeamViewer going, and I also have Quick Support launched on, on uh, this, this smartphone here. So in the case that you wanted to add additional phones here, all you would do is come up here to the plus sign, and you would add additional devices. You'll have a code once you launch Quick Support, and that will have to be typed in over here on uh, uh, TeamViewer itself. Once you have clicked this plus, you will see an area to type in that code, and it's as easy as just going ahead and launching it on your phones. So now in the case that you would like to automate your, your setup here, this is where Mouse Recorder comes into play. And there's a ton of these guys. There's literally uh, probably hundreds of these that you could download. Maybe not hundreds. There's quite a few different Mouse Recorder programs that you could pick up. This is a very, very easy one to work with. So I'm going to put it down in the description below for you guys to check out. And also, let's talk here really quickly before I, I demonstrate exactly how you're going to do this. You have your Windows devices. And once you start to build those up, you can also use TeamViewer to manage your Windows devices. So you can go through each Windows device up here, go to each of your websites, and you could literally set this up to where you have two different uh, setups, which is maybe that's how I, I run my setup. I'm just saying. Uh, you could have your Windows devices for just TeamViewer, and then you could have one Windows device to sit here and manage your phones through that one Windows device. So in the case that you have around 30 to 40 smartphones, you're starting to build up your phone farm here. This is something that you're really going to want to consider. Now, you have different applications here that are already really passive. So it's, it's partially redundant to use uh, what I'm about to show you on those devices. But in the case that you do have some applications that are frustrating to work with, this is an option for you to possibly use it on those applications. Now, if you're worried in the case that you may be banned for doing something like this, I would encourage you to look at the most profitable applications that you possibly uh, could be using in your routine and consider maybe not doing this with those applications that are really paying you very, very well. But what do you have to lose by using this kind of setup on an application that literally it pays you in f 5 to $10 a month, it crashes all the time, it's uh, next to impossible to earn with it? What do you really have to lose at the end of the day? Also, for the person that's out and about and they're not home to sit here and babysit their phone farms 24-7, and really, this is maybe not turning into something that is extremely, extremely profitable for them because they can only do this so often. 
what do they have to lose by maybe considering uh, giving this a shot. But we're going to showcase it right here. You have your mouse recorder. All you do is hit record. And do I want to save the existing recording? No, we're starting over fresh here. So we're currently recording what we're doing here with, uh, with this mouse recorder. And it is going to retrace anything that I do. So guys, this is pretty self-explanatory here. And we're just going to use my, my this is kind of my testing application for giving me an idea for what an eCash Society application might be like here in the future if I do decide to set up an application. You guys know that I have my website, but we just want to do this very, very simply here. We want to open the application and we want to exit the application. So if you see I've done just that, I really the, the application is not fully exited. This is something you can do as well. And then you you just have to look at each application that you are going to auto trace that application and you have to really put some thought in here. Uh, where am I going to have to click for each one of these applications? How many of them are going to be up here at the top of Team Viewer? And you know what what is the routine for that application? How many ads pop up on the screen? Do I have to click in a specific location at certain times and certain intervals? Uh, you know, these are things you will have to put some thought into. And once you have done that, though, you can find a very stable routine for those applications that you don't necessarily care too much about. So, guys, this is as good as it get as, gets as far as information. The only thing beyond this is to consider picking up uh, scripts. And you can download custom custom scripts that people have created for various websites. And I do not really recommend overall doing that we're gonna stop this mouse recording right here and then we're going to play it really quickly um, I do not really recommend overall 100% using scripts for some people once again if you find them and they work for you and you know you really don't have much to lose is something to really consider it might be a, a possible way for you to have an automated phone farm that you are making a really decent amount of money with there's all sorts of stuff out here guys and these are the things that I really would like to cover here on my channel uh, the things that aren't really being talked about or covered here so if you notice though and this is a good example of how you really have to pay attention to how you're mapping these movements. We do have one last thing to talk about, but this is a very good example. If you notice that my, my screen was on a different location, correct? So you have to think about that aspect whenever you're mapping out your mouse's movements, you have to think about the fact that you have got to reset your screen back to its original location in order to be able to relaunch that application this is just one example of many. So it does take some thought and effort into making this a reality to how it can be fully automated. But once that scenario is fully figured out for yourself and you've got it all 100% down packed, that is where coming over here and uh, going to repeat and making sure that this repeats itself over and over and over again. So for every time that it repeats, is every time that it will launch each one of your applications here in your tabs up here. Um, a couple of things to note here with quick support is if uh, it's inactive, it will time out after so much time. And also, this is something that you will have to launch. Uh, ever so often you will have to come here and possibly relaunch things. But once you get it going, it frees up your time. That's the, the biggest thing to to point out here it's going to free up your time once you have got this going in its launch so guys I really can't think of much else that I would discuss here in this video as far as automation goes we could cover some topics of where you can find possible scripts if you would like to get into the world of downloading scripts that you can you could use to your benefit but really that's that's pretty much it overall I feel like this is a, a solid tutorial for how you would go about setting this up for yourself and yeah once again though uh, doing something like this is 100% at your own discretion. I feel like some of these companies, they they maybe don't want you to do something like this, and then some of them maybe don't really care at all. So that's one thing to mention here. Companies are possibly out to only make their money, and they could care less about you setting something like this up, whereas other companies are, maybe they're a little finicky about something like this. But uh, this is what I, I have heard overall is by doing this, and I've successfully done this for some time. 
Uh, but by doing this, guys, I, wa I will say this. I'm care I am careful about how I do it as well. But overall, you are going to... You're going to benefit here by having that free time. I'll just, I'll, I'll leave it at that, guys. Um, also, if you found this video to be interesting, you definitely want to hit me up with a like and a subscribe. I'm, I have a ton of videos that I'm working on over here. I actually have a desktop that's kind of filled with videos that I need to get up here on the channel. And guys, I really, I, I think that's it, though. I will see you in the next video. That's right, you've been looking for easy ways to make money online. And from here, guys, you can check out some more of my content on my YouTube channel via the links on either side of me, or you can head over to my website and start making money immediately with my website and learning more ways to make money online. And guys, as always, like, comment, and subscribe.